easy explain the stoicism of epictetus part four of five discourses book three learn first to know who you are and then adorn yourself accordingly so here in book three we're starting off with this very simple idea from epictetus actually uh, and it's a largely in response to you know if if by now you're still not buying into his philosophy of stoicism right he's trying to pr produce and present this philosophical medicine for you to live a better life to live a stoic life and if this still isn't adjusting well to your palate he kind of presents this next bit of advice here to just maybe sit with yourself for a little bit have some quiet introspection and learn who you are find yourself and then take it from there if this seems daunting or if you just don't know where to start you don't know how to do this maybe you've never meditated in any way like this before Epictetus just does have some suggestions on how to get started he does present this from the angle of forming mental habits these are just habits that we can work at and develop here so his first one is to approach everything with circumspection and that essentially means for Epictetus you know, when you approach a situation, try to have a big picture, try to take a step back from it, try to take in all angles, keep an open mind. I mean, that's one way that, you know, you can be helped in finding out who you are. The next one has to do with social discourses, social intercourses, and Epictetus advised to approach them with caution. Maybe we shouldn't be the most trusting people from the outset. Right, that might actually harm us. That might actually delude us to learning who we are. The third one, very perennial sentiment here, right? There's a lot of news. There's a lot of bad news. And Epictetus says that we shouldn't allow it to always disturb us. For Epictetus, a lot of the bad news in the world won't always affect us directly. And we shouldn't let it. And finally, his last mental habit that he suggests to get you on the path of learning who you are getting to know yourself first is a very stoic sentiment and that's don't become attached to things that are not in your power and for epictetus this is a lot of things right we need to realize as stoics that a lot of things are not in our power so we should try to limit our attachments to them but again he said it once he'll say it again these habits, these positive mental habits, learning how to incorporate these and fully embrace these and, and live them, this is a difficult task. It's not easy. Creating habits and habitualizing these thought patterns, especially these stoic ones, these stoic reflections, not going to be easy, definitely going to take some time. Epictetus realizes that. He's acknowledging that right here. And he does have some encouragement. That's actually how he ends book three and it is rather lengthy i do think it is important to actually spend some time with and read and the sentiment here is epictetus providing encouragement for those who have failed at goals they set out on of the things that you initially proposed for yourself consider which you have achieved and which you haven't and how it gives you joy to recall some of them and pain to recall others and if possible Try to recover even those that have slipped from your grasp. For those who are engaged in the greatest of contests shouldn't flinch, but must be prepared also to take blows. For the contest that lies in front of us is not in wrestling, in which, whether one meets with success, it is possible for one to be of the highest worth or of little, and by Zeus, to be most happy or most miserable, no. This is a contest for good fortune and happiness itself. What follows then? In this contest, even if we should falter for a while, no one can prevent us from resuming the fight. Nor is it necessary to wait another four years for the next Olympic Games to come around. But as soon as one has recovered and regained one's strength and can muster the same zeal as before, one can enter the fight. And if one should fail again, one can enter once again. And if one should carry off the victory one fine day, it will be as if one had never given in. 
I hope this helps.